Each and every week, the Redeemer Faith Community gathers in this worship space. And I don't know what it is, but there is something absolutely remarkable about worshiping in this space. It may be the architecture, it may be the people, it may be the symbolism, or perhaps it's a combination of all those things. But there is something about gathering together in a worship space like this that is absolutely remarkable, and we feel the very presence of God. In ancient times, the Hebrew people had this concept called Shekinah. And Shekinah was the very presence of God who lived and dwelled in the midst of the Hebrew people. See, they believed that wherever they went when they were carrying the tabernacle around in the desert, that inside the tabernacle was the very presence of God. It was the Shekinah of God in their midst. Later on, when they built the temple, they believed that the Shekinah, the very presence of God, dwelled in the Holy of Holies. And it is said that when David wrote the Psalms, that the Shekinah, the very presence of God, filled David so that he could even write the Psalms. In New Testament times, we read in Luke 2, when Jesus was born, that the Shekinah shone forth on the shepherds, the very presence of God showed on the shepherds themselves, and it was the very presence of Christ who was the light of Jesus Christ into the world. And so here today at Redeemer, we have this Shekinah lamp that continues to glow, that continues to be lit 24 hours a day, seven days a week, that we are reminded that Christ dwells in this place. During this season of Lent, we are going to explore and discover together how God, how the light, the Shekinah of God goes from this place. Lent is a season of reflection. It's a time where we consider all the dark places of our lives and the dark places of the world. The sinfulness, the brokenness, the hurt, the pain. And so as we go down this Lenten journey together, we are invited to take the Shekinah, the very presence, the very light of Jesus Christ with us into the world. And my hope and my prayer is th through these small groups as we journey together that you will discover and see the light of Christ in your life. <laughs> 